Vermilion Cliffs National Monument remains one of the nation's most exclusive hiking spots. And it may see bigger crowds under a new proposal from the Bureau of Land Management. ABC4's Katie Krause reports tonight from St. George. Over 150,000 people applied for permits to hike the wave last year, and less than 5% received them. The six-mile round-trip hike takes visitors through bands of pink, yellow, and white Navajo sandstone formations. BLM officials are weighing increasing the daily visitor limit to as high as 96. Currently, staff issue only 20 daily permits through a lottery. We recognize the need to keep our treasured landscapes from being loved to death. Yet environmentalists say that the BLM doesn't have the resources to ensure that such heavy use is compatible with protecting the environment and public safety. The very thing that people are coming to see be damaged by uh, so much use. Uh, this is a, a harsh and hot desert environment, place where people have actually died from exposure. BLM officials say they hope to maintain the natural solitude of the environment, and current use of the wave is causing only minor resource damage. Staff say no one knows yet how much additional use could be authorized before major damage occurred. Reporting in St. George, Katie Corrales, ABC4 News.